it's Minnie. Welcome to my channel, Happy Fit Natural. I upload videos each week about topics that make me happy, getting fit, and about my natural hair. I would love for you to join me in the future, so if you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe to, the, to my channel so that you can be notified of when I do other Monday motivational videos. Now, it is Monday, y'all, and it is an awesome time to set yourself up for an amazing week. Procrastination has been said to be the enemy of success. I can say that I truly believe that. Instead of doing accomplishable goals, we tend to find ourselves doing meaningless activities. For me, I typically find myself scrolling on social media on my phone. But if you remember in my April vlog, I said that I was going to be focusing April in April on spending less and less time scrolling and more and more time of being present in the moment and enjoying my life. I quickly realized that for me, scrolling on social media is actually procrastination. Scrolling on social media keeps me from exercising, making YouTube videos, thinking, or even reading a good book. And I'm not saying that scrolling on social media is bad, but for me, scrolling on social media keeps me from doing the things that I know I should be doing, which is, by definition, procrastination. I thought I would come in and tell you how I'm putting the enemy, procrastination, in its place. And if you have problems with procrastination tendencies, then this video may very well be helpful to you. First and foremost is realizing why we procrastinate. And for me, after thinking about this, I realized that I procrastinate for three reasons. Number one, I don't want to feel overwhelmed about anything. Number two, I really don't tune in on exactly what I want. Number three, I give in to my distractions way too easily. I typically look at the big picture of the puzzle. I don't look at the small pieces that put the puzzle together, but I just look at the entire picture. I'll say something like, I want to make a YouTube video today. And then I'll start charging my um, battery for my camera and everything, start getting things together. And then I realize, oh, I have to do my makeup. I have to do my hair. I don't even know what I want to talk about today. And then I, everything starts coming at me and then I just start feeling overwhelmed. I'll plop down in a chair, grab my phone, and then I'll start scrolling. Before you know it, the sun is down. I won't have the natural light coming in. And that's a wrap for me. It's over. So I won't record that day and then I'll spend that evening feeling like a failure. However, if I know exactly what I want to do a video about, for instance, a video about procrastination, then I kind of know the direction that I'm going in. It'll be easy for me to map out the task of making that video happen. I shouldn't feel overwhelmed. And I will not let my distractions take over what I'm doing because I'll be focused in on completing that video then my day won't pass me by. I'll feel more successful at the end of the day. So if you're like me and procrastination is your enemy, then think about the task at hand. Think about exactly what you want to do and focus in on being as clear as you can be about it. Use specific words to formulate a goal. So don't just say, oh, I want to be skinny. No, you want to say something like, I want to lose 10 pounds by June 30th of this year. Don't say, oh, I want a new job. Say something like, I want a job working as a cashier at Walmart. Be as specific as possible. Once you're specific about what you want to do, then drawing out a map to accomplish your goals becomes more simple and the task will seem less overwhelming. You want to map out the task that it will take to accomplish your goals. So take our example for instance. I want to lose 10 pounds by June 30th. Mm, when I think about it, that's about 10 weeks from now. That means I need to lose one pound per week. 
breaking it down to a pound a week doesn't seem as daunting as just saying I want to lose 10 pounds. You would need to write your goal down that I want to lose 10 pounds by June 30th of this year. Then you want to go ahead and map out your healthy eating plan. And you want to do it in advance so you'll know exactly the type of foods that you would want to eat. You also want to go ahead and write down your exercise schedule so that you will know that I need to work out at least three to four times a week, 30 minutes a day. And map out, put on there, Monday I will work out, Wednesday I will work out, so that your plan is already formulated. With planning, the tasks become easier and easier. And when June 30th hits, you will look back at what you've done and what you've accomplished and you will feel so proud of yourself. Even if you want a job at Walmart as a cashier, you want to go ahead and write down on Monday, I am going to Walmart. I am going to see if they have openings, see if I meet the qualifications for the openings, and then I will put in an application to um, apply for the job. Within a week or so, write down that you will follow up to see the status of your application. Make the choice to stay on track when procrastination wants to take over or when distractions come up. And believe me, procrastination will want to take over and distractions will come. Believe me, they will. But when those, those urges start to come, then pull out your goals. You make the choice. Pull out your goals. Read over your goals over and over I want to lose 10 pounds by June 30th I want to lose 10 pounds by June 30th keep reading over them go through your task read over your eating plan read over your uh, exercise plan so that you will know exactly what you need to do to stay on track you make the choice to stay on track by keeping your plan in your face it helps you to stay on track better for me, I make a conscious decision not to pick up my phone while I am working on making a YouTube video or doing anything else that I know that I need to complete. Because I know if I pick my phone up, I will get distracted. I will start scrolling through social media and I will never get done. But I make sure to schedule time for my distractions. So I know that once I get done recording, editing, and uploading my video, then that's the time that I can relax and scroll on social media if I want to for a little while. I am learning to eliminate the time that I'm spending by slowly slowly just taking the time away from it giving myself 30 minutes to sit down and just do that if that's what I want to do so I schedule my distractions I don't let my distractions schedule me I be in control and you can be in control of your distractions so those are four steps that I am taking to put my enemy procrastination in its place. I will know exactly what I want to do. I will not feel overwhelmed because of the things that I have to do and I will not be distracted. I will be able to accomplish my goals by knowing exactly what I want to do by being specific, mapping out a route, staying on track, and then making a decision to do the things that I need to do. It's quite possible it can be done and I will not let my distractions rule me anymore I will make a choice to be on top and you can too let me know if procrastination is a huge thing for you and how you're handling it I would really be interested to know put it down in the comment section and I'll be so excited to read your comments y'all have an amazing Monday and an even better week bye bye